Hey guys, welcome back. Now, as the title says, it's a sixth sense unboxing, but first I want to start this video just by saying thank you to all of you. Uh, my channel has officially reached and actually surpassed the 1,000 subscriber milestone, which is absolutely awesome. That's uh, the coveted 1K that all YouTube channels hope to receive. Um, and it's all because of you guys, and I can't say thank you enough. Now, I've been kind of busy uh, the last few weeks, so I've been doing a little bit of fishing, not a whole lot of filming, but I do have plans for a giveaway uh, in the near future, and uh, I just want to say thank you again, and, and thank you for helping my channel grow. When I started this, I uh, really kind of figured I'd do a couple videos and that'd be the end of it, which I know I've said in the past, um, and then this milestone after milestone after milestone, so... I honestly, I don't know the words. I just can't say thank you enough. So stay tuned, though. I am trying to figure out how to do a nice giveaway and everything else to show my appreciation. Um, but otherwise, just thank you. All right. You know what you're here for. This is Sixth Sense unbagging here. This was the crappy bundle, which I was pretty stoked to get my hands on. There are a lot of really cool baits in here. And it's not really just for crappy. Um, bluegill, and in my area, shoot, I'll catch peacock and, and largemouth and everything else on these things. And some of them, the Pecos is really the main one I wanted because it was really hard to find on Tackle Warehouse. So I got this whole thing at six cents and it was on sale. I think it was, you know, I don't remember. I'm not even going to say it, but I'll put it up on the screen. I forget what the discount was and it might still be active. So I want to go through and show you guys everything you get in this bag because I think it's a heck of a deal. All right, so first let's run through some of the non base stuff we got. The whole thing is shipped in the... Uh, reusable bait bag and this is my first one from six cents and i gotta tell you i really like it it's got a really great feel to it and you can tell the stitching on all this binding is really good quality stuff uh, i'm excited to have this i use these um, exclusively on my kayak for carrying baits around with me and this one is really good quality so i'm excited to have this first and foremost um we got a six cents lanyard which i think i have two or three of these already so I don't know, eventually I do want to get a, um, a remote for my GoPro, so I'm going to hook it onto this, wear it around my neck again for the kayak, so it will come in handy. Face shield, always use a face shield. And then they do send a set of these uh, size 8 minnow hooks. Not something worth taking out of the package to show you. It's a typical, you know, Aberdeen style little, you know, panfish hook. You know, you slap a worm or something on it with a split shot above it, and you're good to go. So now, as far as what actually came in the bag, and this is the stuff that I'm pretty excited about. So for starters, we got these uh, curly clobbers, is what they're called, I guess. They're basically just a two-inch little curly tail. And I'll bust them out of the pack and show you, because they have a really unique body on them. Now, right, so as you can see, they come in this cool little clamshell, and it's not one of those really obnoxious clamshells. You know, everything fits inside of it pretty nice, and it's a very slim profile, which I know... Well, yeah, a lot of the issue with clamshells is, yeah, they take up so much space. But this one's pretty nice, actually. And here's the bait itself. As you can see, it's got this, like, normal kind of grub profile. But then it's got this little flap of plastic up underneath. Little curly tail. It's a neat-looking little presentation. And uh, now Sixth Sense is actually recommending that you use this on a little jig head or an underspin. And, yeah, that's probably exactly what I paired up with. Maybe one of those little tiny crappy jigs or something like that. But it's going to have great action in the water. Now, this color is baby bluegill. Sorry, I had to look that up. And I really do like just the color overall. It's just a great, with this little chartreuse tail, I really, really think that this thing's going to slam. So, very cool little soft plastic. And I'm really not even sure there's a wrong way to fish it. Okay, next I'm pulling out of the bag. Two very similar but still pretty different items. You got the uh, tinsel jig. And you got a hair jig. Obviously the difference being the material that it's made out of. But they're both just pretty cool looking little jig heads. Uh, 1 32nd ounce and 1 16th ounce. I'm going to pull these out of the package to give you a better look. But I'm pretty stoked to fish these things too. Okay, let's turn off with this uh, tinsel jig. So, and that's basically, you can see, let me get up on the camera all this tinsel and it's kind of wrapped and also like uh you know kind of like that uh the, the christmas decorations you find at the dollar store that's kind of what reminds me if you were tying flies with that kind of stuff but you can check out just this tiny little jig head and look at all the flash that that's going to have in the water that is just crazy crazy cool teeny tiny again it's a one thirty second of an ounce nice sharp hook and yeah i'm just going to throw this as is you know you don't need anything on the back i guess you probably could tip it if you really wanted to but I think just kind of 
you know, kind of letting it fall and jerking it up and kind of playing it almost like a little jerk bait. Just very, very, very light little jerks. I think this thing is going to slay. Now, I also took one of those hair jigs out. Have a look real quick. These things also, you can just fish these as is. It's not like you need to put anything on the back of them. And once this gets wet, it's going to lay down a little bit. And again, I think you could absolutely, if you wanted to add some kind of trailer to the back, you could. But I really don't even think it's necessary. I think this is going to catch fish just as is. Now, this one's a 1 16th ounce, so it's a little bit heavier. Uh, great colors. That's going to look awesome in the water. Almost like a sexy shad because it's got the yellow eye. You know, then the blue and white feathers. Very, very cool little jigs. Uh, I forgot to mention that in both of these, you do get a three-pack for both. And uh, I got to tell you, I'm just excited to fish these things. I'm going to catch everything on these. Bluegill, bass, peacock, probably even a snakehead where I'm at. Just really stoked to throw these. All right. What's next, though? This is the main reason I bought this pack. Bam. The Pecos Underspin. These, I've been kind of wanting these... Uh, I did a, uh, one of those tackle warehouse swaps with my buddy Neil over at Neil Bone Fishing, and I sent him a pack of these. At the time, I believe it was something called like Black Rose, was like the only color I could get. But I was really intrigued by them, and I really wanted to throw you know, these of my own. But they kept you know, being out of stock consistently uh, every time I went to go place a tackle warehouse order. And the reason I got this whole sack to begin with, um, I actually got an email from Six Sense stating that they had these crappy bundles together, and I put two and two, jumped on. And sure as shit, <laughs> these came in the pack. So I was crazy excited. And this color, I don't know what they're... Let's see, this is their um, Pro Minnow. It's that smoky shad color that just goes freaking awesome down here. And uh, let's see, I'm going to go through the effort. I'm going to cut this thing open and show you guys what these look like up close. And there's kind of a bonus to this thing too, which I'm excited to show you. Let me get this open, give you a better look. Okay, I'm not going to lie, that took a little bit of effort to get open. So if you're going to... Get these, open them up before you get on the water. Um, this is great. It comes with one jig head and one, two, three, four, five different bodies. A little underspin you got going on here on one of their little swivels. I mean, this is just absolutely fantastic. This is going to absolutely freaking crush them. I'm trying to get the camera to get a better angle of this because, man, that is just freaking awesome. And it's not much to it. It's got this little paddle tail. So I really love this color. This is like that smoky shad color. Uh, they called it like pro minnow or something, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And it's got this little blade that, for what it is, as small as it is, actually does spin pretty good. I am really crazy excited to throw these things. In fact, I'm probably going to tie one of these on. As soon as I'm done recording this, and I'll edit it later, because I'm going to go tie one of these on and fish it, because I just know this is going to slay everything. I'm going to get even tilapia, I think, and the, and the cichlids are going to hit this. So really excited about it. Speaking of all those different species that are going to hit it, that color might not be the best for some. But also in this package, bam, more bodies and more heads. Now in this case, um, I got three of the eighth ounce heads. And this is in like an electric chicken kind of color. In fact, that might be what they call it, uh, pea chicken. I might be missing it, but it's like an electric chicken kind of color. And those broader colors are fantastic for peacock bass fishing. And then you get a whole pack, a 12-pack of these bodies. Um, pro Chicken, that's what the P stands for, okay. So the P and P Chicken, Pro Chicken. Uh, I'm going to pop one of these open and give you a shot because these are just crazy cool. And you get 12 to a pack. Okay, now once again, it comes in this pretty neat little, very slim, very low profile. Uh, clamshell pack, which is fantastic because a lot of times when you're just pout pan fishing, at least me, I just throw stuff in my pocket. I wear like a cargo short or something that I can throw all my jig heads and everything right in my pocket. So these little slim profile clamshells, absolutely fantastic. Let's get a better look at this plastic though. I mean, you can already see the great action this thing is going to have. And it's basically that's it, just a tiny little paddle tail. The head design is kind of cut out. Um, to fit, you know, the head profile of the jig. But I'm assuming you can probably use any kind of little minnow, and you can cut it if you want to or not. The fish really aren't that picky. But personally, I think this is going to absolutely slay the peacock bass. Uh, they really love these kind of colors, and I am just crazy, crazy stoked to get this. So I will definitely let you guys know how these work on actually, you know, throwing them out there, but I have pretty high hopes. 
All right, guys, well, that's about it. Um, maybe not one of the longer unboxings that I would usually do, but, uh, you know, that's that's what came in the pack. You know, you got the hooks, you know, that I may probably pair up with them grubs, but probably not. I'll honestly probably use one of my own little jig heads for those grubs. Um, but the Pecos. The Pecos was 100% the reason I bought these things. Um, and I, I'm, ex I'm really excited about the colors that I got. That electric chicken is going to slay, like I said, peacock. And uh, probably the cichlids and stuff, too. And that, uh, what do they call it, pro minnow or... Again, like a smoky shad kind of color, absolutely fantastic. It, it's just uh, for down here, it's basically an all-around color, and it's gonna work great. And those hair and tinsel jigs, I'm just friggin' excited to throw them all. Really, this bundle, I've actually had it for a while. Like I said, I've been busy, but it's been really tough not to throw anything and not to fish it because I really wanted to do this unboxing video first. But now, uh, you know, I basically have full uh, <laughs> full reign to go ahead and tie these things on and get started. So I'm gonna call this one quit and go fish with these things but again i want to thank you guys not just for watching this video but again for the 1000 sub milestone that is absolutely fantastic again still working on the whole giveaway thing stay tuned it's definitely happening so far a little spoiler alert i got a fishing reel to give away it's one that i use on a regular basis and honestly probably one i'll be using with this kind of stuff um so that's at least one prize i think i'm definitely going to do more than one winner Again, I don't have all the details worked out. It's just been pretty hectic, you know, but uh, don't worry. It's uh, it's definitely in the plan. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let's get that number even higher. Thank you guys again so much. I just can't say thank you enough, and I'll see you all in the next one.